I'm Brockton Kick. Today I am making a video to be considered for a scholarship to attend the Scuffet School of Culinary Arts. Today I'll be making spaghetti. I come from a family that has been putting spaghetti on the table for a while. We eat it at least once a week, sometimes more. It's easy, economical, and filling. Everyone loves it. Uh, this is my twist on a traditional spaghetti dinner. Today, I'm preparing a great vegetarian uh, substitution for a traditional Italian spaghetti dinner. Now, here are the ingredients. We'll be using spaghetti squash as a substitute for spaghetti, uh, tomatoes, of course, tomato puree, basil, because it's delicious, olive oil, onions, garlic, and salt and pepper. I'll begin by preparing the squash, but first, did you know that a squash is technically a fruit? Anything that has seeds in it is botanically considered a fruit. However, as a chef, it is treated as a vegetable. Now once we're done scraping out all the innards of the seeds, we'll put it in uh, a plate and uh, put it in the oven for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. I almost forgot. What you're going to want to do after you scrape out the innards and before you put it in the oven is take some olive oil, salt and pepper and put the olive oil on top and on the inside to coat it. And then you're going to want to take your salt and pepper and season it to your liking. Now, into the oven it goes! Now while the squash is cooking, let's prepare our tomatoes. Now, I like to cut my tomatoes into good sized chunks. That way it gives a nice rustic chunky texture in the sauce. Okay, so. So we're going to be using about one and a half teaspoons of olive oil, two gar uh, garlic cloves, and about half an onion. So we're going to want to set the temperature to about medium-high heat. Add in our olive oil. Swish it around. Let that heat up for about a few seconds. And then we're going to add in our garlic, and then our half an onion. There we go. And then we're going to saute it for about three minutes. And then your tomatoes. Mix it up. Now you're going to want to bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer. Once that's done, we're going to leave it there for an hour and let it reduce down. And don't forget your basil! And this is the final product. Uh, with all the tomato chunks and the fresh basil. It's nice. Let's plate it! This is what it looks like. From here you just add a little salt and pepper to your liking. And then 
for those spangles of basin. Now on top for a garnish. Da da! <laughs> now let's see how it tastes. Mm. I love it. The texture is good. The flavor is really nice. You can definitely taste the onions and garlic in there. All in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Now, your turn to try.